Hey guys, welcome to another crafty video on my YouTube channel and today is another card making video. However, in this particular case, I decided to make some 4x4 note cards for Diwali. Now, I feel uh, especially with festivals like Diwali, Christmas, where you know you tend to give out a lot of uh, gifts to people, etc. I always feel that it makes more sense to make non-traditional sized uh, projects rather than, you know, your typical A2 cards. So in this case, I'll be making some 4x4 note cards today. And I'm just showing you these new stamps by Craft Angles, which is the part of our Diwali release, as well as some two stamps which were part of the mixed media release. Now, I, I honestly, I had no plans on what I was planning to do, etc. You know, I just knew that I wanted to use these stamps and make something cool for you. And I went, went with a blank mind in the video and I decided we'll try something and we'll see how it goes. You know, I had no layout, nothing in my mind. I just wanted to use the stamps and make something out of it. I really feel that's a good exercise, especially when, you know, you uh, feel uh, that, you know, you tend to overthink things because in my case that happens a lot. Whenever I want to make uh, themed cards or, you know, themed project, I literally take a day or two, think about how I'm going to use it. And that's not a bad thing. But I feel that I tend to procrastinate a lot. And, you know, I think so much so that I sometimes feel I overthink things. So this was simply an exercise to just uh, let, you know, myself be relaxed and just do whatever comes to my mind. There was no expectation that it needs to be an XYZ perfect card because I feel sometimes that expectation causes me more pressure than, you know, the pressure of always putting out a perfect video, a perfect card, etc. So uh, that is why I just decided to scribble around and see what I come up with. And I have made uh, four note cards using the stamp set. And uh, this is the part one where I'll be showing you two note cards. And in part two, I'll be showing you the remaining two note cards. So I start off with dual textured white cardstock. Uh, this is 300 GSM dual textured white cardstock by Craft Angles. And I have cut them to size of uh, eight by four inches. And then I have scored it at four inches along the eight inch size. So that is how I came up to this four by four inch note card. And then for the first note card, what I'm doing is I'm using these small patterns. So these are those small, small, tiny, tiny uh, stamps, which are part of the, the two by three stamp set, which craft angles, which we launched in craft angles. And uh, I had seen Yana Smukula do something similar where, you know, she had taken all those small stamps and made a really pretty repetitive background. So I decided to do something similar and make my own pattern paper. So th this is more of a Diwali themed pattern paper that I created using the stamping and embossing. And I know that it is a bit time consuming. However, once it is completed, you will see the effect that you get is really pretty. And for those of you who are into quick cards and who think, you know, that this is probably more time consuming. Uh, there is something called as uh, designer toner sheets, which Craft Angles recently released. So those are toner sheets which are uh, printed in various designs, Diwali being one of them. And then when you pass it through your laminator with foils, wherever there is that print, the foil gets stuck. So you get some similar to this. Uh, so that is, you get a similar effect with foils rather than embossing. So for those of you and, you know, people like me who don't love embossing so much so as I love stamping because you know many times powder gets to places and this is like a multi-step process and I sometimes I feel lazy and you know I don't want to do this so for such kind of people including me I think that's a good alternative I will link down a release video where I have made um, you know where I have shown you the demo of those toner sheets and foils and coming back to video, this is your traditional embossing that I did. I used Ranger Super Fine Gold Powder, embossing powder on top along with my Versamark watermarking pad. 
and the newly launched Diwali stamps by Craft Angles. And I just created a repetitive pattern. So there was no logic or thought process behind it. I just wanted to create a pattern and put it on a card. And that is why I also chose this four by four because the smaller the area, you know, the quicker I'll be able to stamp and emboss it. If you do more of, you know, like A2 or a slimline card, they will, of course, need more space and, you know, more time. So if you have a smaller note card, you can probably do a lot many things at lesser time. And you can still have equally good result. So... If you are into, you know, giving out a lot of gifts during Diwali and you tend to make a lot of handmade cards, I would definitely suggest that you give this 4x4 size a try. This would fit perfectly on a gift box if you are giving it to someone and, you know, it, it would make a good size and it would definitely be easier to create and probably will help you save some time. Now what I have done is once I have completed embossing, I'm just doing very quick water coloring. There is not a lot of things that I'm doing. Yes, but I'm making sure that I'm not doing very flat water coloring. Like I have put colors on one side and then I'm just dragging it with some water on the other side. So that way it will add dimensional. And on the left side, you can see there are more prominent dark colors. And on the right side, it is more lighter, giving it an illusion that the light is coming from the right side. The colors that I have used are Craft Angles liquid watercolors and the colors are red which is Soulmate, yellow which is Lemon Tart, orange which is Autumn Blaze and green which is Evergreen and blue which I will be using for stars which is Poolside. So those are the colors that I have used. Again very simple coloring, very quick coloring. I did not use a lot of, I did not have a lot of patience as I said because I was running less on time and I wanted to quickly cover things but at the end you will see by just doing these simple things honestly this note card turned out to be the best of the entire lot according to me because I really liked how it created this pattern and it really felt like an embossed note card that you normally get from a high-end shops whenever you know there is Diwali and they send out gifts etc. So this looked very similar to that so any of you who are into mass producing for clients uh, this would be a good pattern. So if you are into making Diwali or festive cards, you know, Christmas, anything, normally whatever stamps you use. So instead of using a black ink pad, try doing gold or silver embossing. You know, I feel it would make a lot of difference, especially with festive cards, because with festive cards, you know, there is always a... Uh, like you are into bling, into glitters, etc. You know, it, it just makes it more happy and fun. So instead of using a traditional black ink pad that we normally do for our cards, I would highly suggest that you switch it up and, you know, spice it up. Instead of using that, try doing silver, gold, etc. And you could, of course, do embossing. It is one option. You could do foiling, which is another option. Now, I want to make a few foiling cards for you as well. I don't know if I'll get time or not, but if not me, I'll link down the uh, YouTube channel where uh, some of the handmade DTs have a few projects planned. And I think you'll really enjoy those Diwali cards as well. Now, apart from this, what I'm doing is I just wanted to add some extra oomph, you know, like because I felt that there were some areas in the pattern which looked a little white. So what I did was I just added some splatters. Now, this is a good way to take your eyes away from that imperfection, you know, because of course, there are some places where there is more pattern and some places where there is less pattern because after all, you know, we just uh, did some hand stamping and there was no rhyme or reason with which I did the pattern perfectly. So it was not a repetitive pattern. It was rather me stamping in certain areas and making sure that I cover most of the paper. Now, in that case, is what you can do is you can add some splatters and that splatters you can add of anything, whatever makes sense to you. Now, instead of putting the sentiment outside, in this particular case, I decided to put sentiment inside. Again, this is the part of that 2 by 3 mini stamp set, which has a focal sentiment and those small patterns which we used on the outside of the note card. I've just stamped it with the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Just a focal image for my note card. 
later on i also added silver and gold rocks on both the note cards again all the watercolors that i have used in this card is craft angles liquid watercolors so for my second note card i actually took an inspiration from an older diwali card that i made last year however i decided to make something similar yet different so what i did was i changed up the focal sentiment so earlier in last year i had used a stamp uh, sentiment stamp from a stamp set called diwali sentiments by craft angles and this time i am using the mini uh, diwali stamp set and once i have stamped uh, the happy diwali which is going to be the focal point of our note card what i do is i take an older stamp set now the older stamp set is festive lights from craft angles again it's a diwali come christmas stamp set and i have taken the string of lights from this and i wrap up and stamp the lights around the happy diwali sentiment in such a way that it actually feels that the lights are around the happy diwali uh, sentiment you know so happy diwali will be the focus and the lights will be in the background and also while stamping what i am doing is i am making sure that my uh, lights touch the sentiment like uh, in this case it is touching the w and the other case i think i'll try and touch either d or l depending on you know so right now you can see that i'm just trying to see where will what touch so in this case i am trying to touch the d of diwali and then i will take some um, figma micron pen then i will complete the edges just to make sure that you know strings are even going outside note cards just to create that illusion since this is my new ink pad it is fairly juicy um, the by the way the ink pad i am using is versafine onyx black ink if you are looking for a waterproof black ink pad uh which is uh which if you are not using alcohol markers and you know if because this particular uh, ink pad is not copic friendly however it works beautifully it has a very good long shelf life so if you are looking for a good black ink pad with your water coloring your pencil coloring etc then i would highly suggest you know you uh, try this particular brand out so this is onyx black ink pad by versafine and once you since it, the ink pad was very new you know it was very juicy and that is why i had to dry up my card for a minute there and now i am coloring my lights so what i have decided is the upper string i am going to color using red and yellow so these are craft angles liquid watercolors for red i have used soulmate and for yellow i have used moroccan spice and for the uh, base of the light i'll be using very light or very diluted blackberry to give that grayish color and on the below or on the lower string of lights i have decided to use green and blue colors so you know these i'm just using some primary colors and making very basic note cards however making sure that it is colorful to keep it in line with the whole festive vibe so the blue that i am using is pool side uh, again craft angles liquid watercolors and the green is evergreen and once that is done uh, what i'll do is i'll add some gold and silver splatters again i did that off camera for both the note cards so apologies i don't have the video of that part but yes that would complete my two note cards for today i hope you enjoyed the process and i have two more note cards that i will be sharing with you all again using the same release and just something impromptu uh, you know impromptu just for the fun of it so i'll be sharing my second video in a couple of days so we do keep a look out and if you like my video don't forget to like and comment and if you are new to my channel and like the content i give out please do consider subscribing i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye bye